Hey everyone, I'm Wayne Brady and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Foundation for Barnes Jewish Hospitals 2022 Illumination Gala benefiting Sightman Cancer Center on June 4th at the Ritz-Carlton in St. Louis. Since 2007, this extraordinary gala has raised over $35 million to support more than 125 cancer research projects leading to new ways to prevent and treat cancer. Your support ensures the physician scientists at Sightman Cancer Center can continue to be on the frontier of cancer innovation speeding the development of cancer therapies and treatments and discovery of cures. Thank you for joining us throughout the Illumination Cancer Frontier series, and we'll see you at Illumination. Welcome, everyone, to Frontier Night 2022. Tonight, you're going to hear about discoveries and the promising research happening at Siteman right this minute right here in St. Louis. All of this is fueled and propelled by your generosity and funds raised at our annual Illumination Gala. Together with my dad, Ken Steinbeck, I brought a picture of him, are excited to be the first ever father-daughter team to chair an Illumination Gala on June 4th at the Ritz. And we'd love you and all your connections to join in our fight today. We're here to celebrate all of you and those that went before you as ambassadors for the Cancer Frontier Fund. Just some facts about it. You all have helped to raise over $35 million over the past decade or so. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what keeps Sightman Cancer Center at the cutting edge. Tonight, you're gonna hear from four world-class investigators who make Sightman Cancer Center unique. In 2001, we were telling people that they maybe had a year to live if they had a diagnosis of advanced stage ovarian cancer. Fast forward 20 years, we're telling people who have a good prognostic disease under the microscope and molecular features of responsiveness to chemotherapy. Some of those patients are living 10 plus years and dare we say that we may be moving towards a cure for ovarian cancer. What keeps my lab alive and many other labs alive are support from you guys. Especially if you're working on new things that aren't yet kind of standard of care, that support really drives and builds the initial data that you can then use and parlay that into NIH or other funding. So each one of these projects has received support from philanthropy. I want to tell you a story about a patient. And this particular patient, he came to me in a wheelchair and you know, he told me I have, you know, two loves, he said my grandchildren and golf, and then, you know, he whispered, but golf comes first. And as it turned out, you know, after a few treatments with this drug, not only was he up walking around, he no longer needed the golf club as a cane, but he was able to walk 18 holes of golf. And this drug completely turned his life around and he's golfing and still doing well to this day. For me personally, being able to accompany the patient in their journey to fight the cancer, it far exceeds any success in academia. For me to be able to wake up in my home in St. Louis, Missouri and drive 15 minutes to the hospital and get that kind of treatment and then leave the hospital that evening and go home and sleep in my bed that night, is incredibly gratifying and it's a blessing. And it's the result of everything that you all do for the hospital, so I am very grateful for that. The reason it's possible is because of philanthropy. It's that simple. Everyone who supports illumination is a part of the progress that we heard about here tonight. 